Welcome to Pin High and Stony, the world's number one golf show. This week, we take a look at the Century Tournament of Champions number one contender, Wind. <laughs> that cracks me up. After that, we look at the Sony Open and choose our one and done picks for the week. We end the show with a little bit of controversy and talk about you know who. So stay tuned, enjoy, and here's a word from our sponsor. When someone mentions Hawaii, my brain goes to hula hoops and hay skirts, tiny guitars and large men playing those tiny guitars. I think about pineapple drinks with tiny umbrellas in them. I don't think about regular umbrellas. I don't think about wind and rain. But that was the story this week. 35 mile an hour wind. And this had a, a really big factor when it came into play. I mean, weathermen were saying that a small child or person could be moved a uh, short distance by this wind. So you can imagine, you know, what this does to a golf ball. Uh, usually a player is able to aim kind of where they want to go directly in a straight line. Uh, but now they kind of have to compensate either left or right. And the player this week with the best compensation game was Justin Thomas. So congrats to him and we'll see him next week at the Sony Open. And High and Stony presents Word of the Week. This week, Albatross. Albatross is scoring three points under par. Going along with the theme of eagle and birdie, it's named after a bird. Not that type of bird, you dog. You. You scoundrel. You. Get your head out of the gutter. This has been Word of the Week. One and done. Picked. All right. You want number one. Yeah. Of course, but a contender each week, that'll get you there, all right? Players are not only transforming their game, they're transforming their bodies. I wanna show a clip from last week that I had the editors remove because I had a hunch that I wasn't quite right about Patrick Cantlay. I think he's riding high after the President's Cup. I think he is poised to stay PC, because we all heard that. So he had the body down, like I said. He's really got the body tight. It's not like he's in an Iron Man suit for the first time. You don't really know how to control the thing, and you're bumping into things, and you're setting stuff on fire, and, and uh, going through plate glass windows and stuff like that. Mentally, uh, I'm not sure he's there to, to, to get him to number one. He's really gotta hose it up or go full throttle. You know what I'm talking about? You can't really ride the fence here. And that's where he'll start seeing his name on the top of the leaderboard and a little bit more money for me, uh, which would be great because um, I'm currently living in my parents' house. A lot of people are looking at Justin Thomas. I'm not sure that's the call. I, he didn't really have what I'd call a clean kill uh, this past week, and I think that might leave him a little uneasy as he goes into the next couple weeks here. That's why I'm going with him this week. Welcome back. We'd like to end tonight's episode with a discussion on Patrick Reed and the controversy he's been stirring up in the golf world. To get two different perspectives, we have Richard William Burroughs from the Golf Preservation Foundation calling in, as well as Tyler Bugs from At Balls and Holes. Welcome, gentlemen. What do we think of this Patrick Reed situation? Richard? I think it may be eroding the very fabric of the game, and I'm worried might be over forever. Okay. And Tyler, your thoughts? Oh, dude. Patrick Green is like Shooter McGavin. He's like 
awesome. It's such it's so good to have like a villain, I think, in the sport. <laughs> Who do you think would be the uh, happy in that situation? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think anyone's trying to like save their grandma's house from foreclosing. So, I don't really know. Okay. Excuse me if I may butt in, but I believe this Tyler character is an abomination to golf journalism. Hey man, I don't know what abomination means, but f*** you, alright? You're a piece of s*** anyway. Thanks gentlemen for your takes, it's always great to hear different perspectives, and we'll see you next week in California. Pin High and Stony is brought to you by Thompson's Featheries. Thank you.